Hi there. In this demonstration, we're going to see how to do a chi-squared test of independence using Minitab Express. And we're going to demonstrate the um, first example from chapter 11.2. And that is where we have some frequencies, some observed frequencies of scores uh, categorized by male and female. And the scores are actually uh, letter grades, not really scores. So um, eight males got uh, A's, four females got, got A's, 10 males got B's, six females got B's, and so on. And so what we're testing for is a test of independence. We're asking ourselves, are these two variables, gender and grade, independent or dependent? Right? And we do that through a formal test called a uh, test of independence. And we'll uh, test this at the 0.05 significance level. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this table of information and we will bring it into um, Minitab Express. So let me get rid of this. And so I have it over here in an Excel file. And I'm just going to copy. So notice these are my, um, my one categorical data, um, A, B, C, D, and so that's the grades. And then on the um, first column denotes the rows, which are males and females. So I'm just going to highlight this whole table, copy, come over to Minitab Express, and paste it. All right. Okay, so now if I start off on the home page, I want to go over to two statistics. Go over to the chi squared symbol here, which is looks like just an x squared, but I click on it anyway. There's goodness of fit. That's not what we want. We want cross tabulation, right? So we click on cross tabulation, um, row data categorical. By the way, notice we're going to put our we're going to put our uh, summarized data in a two-way table. That's what this is. The default option is row raw data. Sorry, and it will scan through and find the different categories. But we already have this in the form of a table, so we're going to go to the summarized data in a two-way table. Now it's asking us columns containing the table. And so those are these columns, A, B, C, D, and F. So we will highlight each one of these, control click all of them, and I can bring them all over by clicking on this arrow. All right. Row labels, that's actually just column one, that's the males and females. So I bring that over. All right. This is one of the easiest tests to do once you have it in there like that. You click OK. Oh, let's see what our display options are. We want a chi-square test for association. It's another name for a uh, test for independence. Um, and I don't think we really need anything else here. Expected cell counts. Each cell's contribution to the chi-square. So these are the things, these are the tables that we use to calculate the test statistic, the value of chi-square. But we'll assume that the software is doing that accurately. Go back here, click OK. And notice, there's the table that just has some sums in there. And we're right here. The results are, are it's not much to uh, take in. Usually, Minitab Express gives you a lot more than you want, a lot more than you need. In this case, it's just about the right amount. It gives you um, chi-squared degrees of freedom and the p-value. And the way we calculated this in the book, in my book, and in most intro stats book is with the Pearson method. 2.75, right? The likelihood ratio is a perfectly valid way to calculate this test statistic. It's just not the way we do it. So make sure if you're if you're doing this to use the answer found here. The chi-square test statistic is 2.75. The p-value is 0 0.6000. You'll notice the difference isn't that large, but if you want to match the um, homework and that's pretty important, especially because it's a computer grading online homework and it's going to demand a certain level of accuracy. Make sure you're using uh, the values found in the Pearson row. So we have a test statistic of 2.75, p-value 0 0.6000. That p-value is obviously way too big, so we um, cannot reject the null hypothesis that the variables are independent. So we don't have enough data here to conclude that gender and grade are dependent variables. So we 
We assume that they are independent, as in the null hypothesis, which we can't reject because the p-value is too big. Right? So that's great. It saves you a ton of work right away. Test statistic, p-value. And you got it. We're done. Thanks. Bye.